Welcome back to Movie Drinkers. Um, today's episode, we are going to review a movie that is still in the theaters now, and it is a movie uh, called American Made. American Made. It's a movie directed and uh, written by Gary Spinelli and Doug uh, Lyman, starring uh, Tom Cruise and Donald uh, Gleason. And so, right, it's about uh, this uh, pilot of uh, TWA in the 70s, 80s, Barry Seal, that uh, decided to become um, a, an informer for the CIA, then uh, um, a career for a, a drug cartel, and then uh, becomes also an informant for the DIA, and so on. So, uh, this movie was. Um, wasn't great. Um, I uh, I think it was really a TV movie that somehow they got Tom Cruise to to act in it. <laughs> so so it really went on for it was a, about two hours. It went on for about an hour and a half too long. It was a half an hour movie, and they basically they just kept repeating the same thing over and over again. I mean, the problem for me, yes, everything you said is right. It could have been a uh, fine for a. Uh, half an hour, maybe no more than an hour, after that it was over and over and over the same story. But the worst of all, the cherry on top of the cake, of the very large cake, was Tom Cruise. My God, I cannot understand that guy. I mean, you look at the face of the guy, I mean, he's a wooden face. I have no idea how this guy managed to become such an actor. So it's not just the wooden face, so for everybody who doesn't know about Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise had um, some facial surgery in the past. So when he was young, he had uh, very bad teeth. And even when he started doing movies before he was very famous, he had very bad teeth. And he had to do you know, oral surgery to fix it. But upon fixing it, he had this weird alignment thing where you know, normal people, if you look at our teeth, you know, the middle of our face oh, comes down right, right, right between you know, uh, two teeth, right? His comes right down to the middle of a tooth, and it is, I guess, is symmetrical, is it, is it but it's weird is when it you look at it. Do you think that that's the reason why it is so annoying to so many people? Because people, they see something that is strange, but they cannot figure out what it is. Exactly. Well, yeah. I think, no, I think that it has to do more on the basic of Tom Cruise. Because the problem is Tom Cruise, you look at his face, Look at the way he acts, because he doesn't act, I mean, of course, he doesn't really act, he's just a guy, he's just... Oh, he runs. All he the acts, movies, Tom Cruise run. Uh, plus, I mean, he's being plastified, because, I mean, if you look at the uh, Tom Cruise and the Top Gun, you look at the way he's right now, it's pretty much the same. How can somebody remain like that in 30, 40 years, or something? So, he's being plastified. <laughs> they take him out of formaldehyde and put him in and start reading yeah, lies. Yeah, and 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 the and the stuff, something, <laughs> yes, I mean, it's, it's not a living, uh, living being. And plus, I mean, he's a zombie. And for me, to tell you the truth, the best movie ever that i seen with him was Edge of Tomorrow, where he was dying. I mean, he, he kept dying every five minutes. I mean, I was so amazed. My God. <laughs> to see Tom Cruise dying every five minutes. And, and every time in a different way, man. And Chain on Top of the Cake. Well, it's a little bit of a spoiler. Even if at the end of the movie, somebody dies. But the problem is that... Spoiler I'm, alert! Yeah. The problem you don't see that person die. Damn, too bad. Well, okay. taking taking Tom Cruise aside, I don't know if you're capable of. No, I won't. I won't be able. To. I won't be able. The, the, you know, the the cinematography was not good. I got you know kind of physically ill just from the the shaking that they had. Mm -hmm. I think they were trying to be cute, but it wasn't that cute. And you know, it's repetitive, and the shooting wasn't good. The story itself was very boring. There's no point to I mean, the whole the, story. The, the only, the only nice part I can say were the three stooges, which were the, the three drug dealers. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, uh, they were the big like stooges, but they were everything but uh, stooges. Because I mean, uh, one was uh, basically all, all, the, all the yeah. I think maybe they are the only secondary characters that are interesting. Yeah. You know, the dumb Hulk Gleason. He plays a dumb guy pretty well. His character wasn't interesting. The, the girl that played Tom Cruise's wife? Yeah. 
She was oh, okay, that, but I mean, it was she was she not. acted okay. Yeah. But the story was just oh my oh, god, this is so I feel so bad for her. It was nothing to do. So yeah. anyway, going to the summary of our uh, poor review of this movie, I would say that I mean uh, I already had uh, I given enough of my life to this movie, and uh, that's it for me. Really. If they can come out with uh, some kind of those uh, cheat sheet uh, cliff notes for this movie. Maybe you can just summarize on YouTube or then. Uh, well, I would, I would, not, you know, I would watch the movie one more time just for the, the sun, airplane scene. Yeah, fast forwarding. Yeah, fast forwarding. Yeah. <laughs> that is fine. Well, you come on, you gotta, you know, no, you put, put Tom Cruise back behind. All the flying scenes were fine. Then you skip with Tom Cruise. Then you start with there's the lady, and you start with the other stooges. You watch those parts. That's it. Well, it's like you know, you're still having a problem with Tom Cruise. You know what? We have a solution for this. I've been working on this, I've been reading a lot of books, and we're going to find a way to help Luca with his time. Uh, I, I can only, really, I mean, I've been going on for this, this one for uh, more than 30 years now. I mean, I cannot stand it anymore. I need a solution. Okay. Please help me. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. So, Luca, I hope you understand this. This is shock therapy, it's clinically proven to work for erasing memories. I don't know, your condition is very serious based on what I've seen. I don't know if it's gonna work, but are you willing to try? Doctor, will it help me? Will I forget Tom Cruise? Will I be happy again? That's the point. I hope it will make you happy again. Okay. But Let's there may be side try. effects. Let's give it a try. Alright. As so long as kids, I forget about kids, don't try this at home. Serious I business. I hope I will forget. I cannot stay anymore. Ah. Alright. So, I hope this is enough enough electricity. This is uranium base. It can go up to 10 million volts and I hope it's, uh, it's going to be enough. So, Alright. So let me, let me look at it. So it says where you have to start with 100 volts. Alright, so let's do 100 volts. Uh, make, sure, make sure you're ready. Are you ready? Yeah! All right, here's a uh, here's a hundred volts. <laughs> all right, all right. Let me turn that off. Tom Cruise. All right, right. No, 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 no. Let me dial up to a uh, thousand volts. This is uh, okay. A thousand volts. All right, here it goes. Yeah, you. Tom Cruise. Alright, alright, alright. Let me take, take it up to 10,000 volts. You ready? Yeah. Alright. Tom Cruise. Alright, I think this is going to take a little bit longer than, than I expected. Um, we're going to take it right up to a million volts and We'll see you guys next time, okay? Alright, let me keep on working on Luca. You ready? Yeah. A million, okay? Yeah. Here it goes.